Morning, it's um, a beautiful day again and I'm probably, and I apologise, um, a week overdue with actually doing this um, particular go live and this is all about sun care. I did this last year and I want you to help me to get this video to go viral and to make sure that everybody has the right information when it comes to sun care. Um, I'm seeing far too many people burnt um, and far too many people sort of, you know, making mistakes with sun care but not realising what the mistakes are. Um, I'd also like to thank um, a friend on Facebook actually for perhaps instigating me to make sure I do this video today because she, as a mother, um, put up on her post that she felt she let down her child yesterday when her child got burnt. Now the difference here is that her child didn't get burnt from her neglect. Her child got burnt because of perhaps some information about using sun care. So, she had applied it three times during that day. She'd applied an SPF 50. And I would say that that is very, very sort of, you know, standard applications out there. And I would say, you know, there's a few families and mothers and fathers out there that I'm sure did exactly the same thing yesterday. So what I'm here to tell you is that the SPF number is probably the most crucial part of all of this. And mainly not to exceed SPF 30. So if you go above 30, what you're dealing with are ingredients that suffocate your skin. And when you suffocate your skin, it's occlusive, your skin doesn't, you know, isn't able to sort of breathe essentially. Um, it's a coating and it causes your sweat to stick to your skin and not excrete as it naturally should. Now that build up of heat basically results in prickly heat. And for a lot of people they have a sun reaction, so it's not necessarily sunburn, but it's a reaction to the sun because of the product that's put onto your skin. So the other thing is that you need to reapply anyway. So there's no point going for a total sunblock or an SPF 50. Anything above 30 is not worth it. You also start to get into the realms of total sunblocks, which of course give you the impression that you apply it once and once only and you'll be protected from the sun. Going in the sea, going in the um, swimming pool, perhaps going um, you know, just through the day and sweating and expecting this total sunblock. Um, to protect you the whole day, but it won't. Um, the other thing that I would say as well is that when you pl apply these high SPFs, you assume that you don't have to keep reapplying them you know, throughout the day. And the truth is you do. Every hour to an hour and a half, you need to be reapplying your sun care. And the reason I say that is because when you're out in the sun, you're gonna be going into the swimming pool, you're gonna be going into the sea, you're going to sweat and you need to be able to keep that protection really, really protected onto your skin. So look to apply when you're in the sun constantly, every hour to an hour and a half, okay? So the SPF numbers are sorted, so SPF 30 is the one to go for because it protects you, it gives you a really good grounding. If you're going through sort of general British sunshine and it's just a day-to-day -day thing, then SPF 15 is okay. Um, and it's one that you necessarily won't necessarily have to reapply. But when we're talking about sun like we're seeing right now, intense sunshine you have to be putting on an SPF 30 and you have to be putting on every hour to an hour and a half to be able to get the protection. Now when you're going into the realms of, of, of sun care you're starting then to look at you know the, the best ones for your skin type. Now I'm not going to recommend one here today um, what I'm more in, um, inclined to say is I want you to apply it properly. Now if you're going for a mineral sunscreen which I highly recommend because what happens with a mineral sunscreen is it bounces light off your skin. So it really helps to protect you not only from you know, the burning rays but also helps to protect you from the aging rays, so UVA and UVB protection. So a titanium dioxide or a zinc oxide um, based sunscreen will really help to bounce the light off, it reflects. The mineral bounces the light away from your skin so that it doesn't have that chance to kind of settle into your skin. But I'm sure those of you out there have used a mineral sunscreen will say that you hate applying it. It leaves a chalky residue on your skin, you know, it feels claggy, it feels really heavy, and the more you try to work the product, the more it kind of smears and you get these lovely white streaks all over your face. So I'm gonna show you how to apply it and we'll do it live for you here. So I'm gonna take my sunscreen, take the blob. The other thing is quantity, you know, make sure that you do have a good, generous quantity of product, you know, don't skimp on it. And it's not about um, stopping you tanning. Remember, you, we can't stop you tanning in the sun, but we can stop you burning and we can stop the damage of your skin. And that is the purpose of sunscreen, is to give your skin some protection, okay? So once you've got your quantity, this is enough for a face, so we're looking at kind of a, I don't know, marrow fat pea size. And just 
warm it up because products are sitting in tubes. It's really important you kind of wake them up a little bit. Distribute them over the skin. Okay, so that patting technique I'm always using. Now it's important to just work the product in a little bit. Smooth it over. And then when you've got that sort of chalkiness to work with, then start pressing. Because pressing is what is actually going to settle the minerals onto your skin. The great thing about pressing this way is not only will it get rid of that chalky look, it will also help to settle the minerals so that they actually give you that lovely layer to bounce the light off your skin, okay? And the same applies for the rest of the skin. So just take your next blob, smooth it on, make sure you've got enough and you feel like you're working enough in, you can feel it working, and then right at the last minute, just press the minerals down, okay? Then what I want you to think about is sunscreen building up on your skin. Now this is a really common thing that I notice is throughout the summer we tend to struggle and suffer uh, with congestion, with breakouts and all these sorts of things and that's because we're using much heavier products than our skin would normally cope with, especially if you have an oilier skin type. So your cleansing routine has to be, um, you know, forefront when it comes to stopping the buildup onto your skin. So make sure you clean your skin in the morning, but also cleaning it at night to make sure that you're removing the residues. Now with my cleansing set, I actually have a, a suggest a contact sponge, which is great because it just prevents the buildup and the overwhelm of your skin. Remember your skin prefers to excrete rather than to absorb and settle things into the skin. So clean it well so that it can tolerate what you actually leave on your skin, which ideally is a very light serum. So make sure that this video goes viral amongst your friends. Make sure that SPF 30 is the highest SPF that you go. Reapply every hour up to an hour and a half. And make sure that your application is perfect, i.e. the right quantity so you can actually feel it on your skin. And then massage it and then press. Settle down the minerals. Enjoy the sunshine. Don't get burnt because it's not much fun. Have a great day.